Are you curious what life is like in Sunnyvale? It's Spencer Sue, your tech realtor of the Bay Area. And today we are here in the bustling city of Sunnyvale, California. Welcome to the birthplace of the US video game industry where Atari was born in 1972. Let's take a look into the city of Sunnyvale itself. The land area of Sunnyvale is only 23 square miles with a population of 152,000 people. Now, Sunnyvale is neighbored by Mountain View to the left, Cupertino to the south, and Santa Clara to the east. North of Sunnyvale is the San Francisco Bay. There are 27 neighborhoods in this city with four key zip codes. In the northern parts of Sunnyvale, above Highway 237, is where a lot of the high-paying tech jobs are based. South of there is where the residential housing begins. The triangle that comprises of Highway 237, Highway 101, and Santa Clara is some of the most affordable places in Sunnyvale, as the single-family homes tend to be smaller with an average of 1,300 square feet and a lot size of 6,000 square feet. These homes were all built in the 1950s. There are also many townhomes built over the last four decades here that go up to 2,200 square feet. Now, the middle part of Sunnyvale between Highway 101, Lawrence Expressway, El Camino Real, and Highway 237 is much more diverse with options. You will get a mix of one bedroom condos and up to five bedroom single family homes. This area is very close to their downtown, which is Murphy Avenue, along with the Caltrain public transit lines. Last but not least, the southern part of Sunnyvale is mostly single family homes, but there are still a few townhomes and condos to be had. This is the most expensive region of Sunnyvale, mainly due to being in some of the best school districts of the area. What you will also find here are Eichler homes. The opinions of Eichlers are very polarizing. You either love this architecture or you hate it. There are 16 tracks that comprise of over 1,100 Eichler homes. Apple has a very large presence here as this area borders Cupertino, which is Apple's global headquarters. Sunnyvale is home to some of the most valuable companies in the world. Companies like Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Microsoft, Amazon, all have huge presences here. We are here at Moffitt Place, which most people don't actually know about unless they worked here because there is no residential space anywhere here. However, the density of office space, even right now as we're shooting it, there are so many companies and they continue to expand. However, it means a lot of traffic flows into this one direction. There is not much public transit, so most people are commuting or they're taking their corporate shuttles. We are here at Baylands Park. There are over 700 acres of developed parkland offering active recreation, pathways, and picnic areas for families and large groups. There's also an additional 105 acres of seasonal wetlands, which is protected as a wetland preserve, providing habitats for plants and wildlife. Now, since its construction back in 1985, Twin Creeks has established itself as one of the world's premier location for softball tournaments and leagues. This 50-acre complex also attracts corporate events and picnics from Silicon Valley's finest companies. San Francisco Bay Trail Sunnyvale to Sandpoint is a 19.9 mile moderately trafficked out and back trail located next to Sunnyvale, California. This area offers scenic views and is good for all skill levels. The trail offers a number of activity options and is accessible year round. Now this is just one of the many parks and green space located in the Sunnyvale area. There's so much more to check out. We are here in West Sunnyvale. West Sunnyvale is one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in Sunnyvale. Fun fact, there are more Asians in this neighborhood than most neighborhoods across the US. This area has 40% from an Asian ancestry. Town and country is really the heart of Sunnyvale considering the fact that it's home to the famous Murphy Avenue and Sunnyvale's Caltrain station. So what is the lifestyle of Sunnyvale? 
If your dream is to be able to ride your bike to work each day, look no further than this unique neighborhood. With 3.9% of residents in the town center lane and country neighborhood, commuting on a bicycle to and from work daily, this neighborhood has more bicycle commuters than 96.2% of all neighborhoods in the US. The food is also awesome here. You have great Japanese food like gochi and tanto, and some of the best Indian food in the area, like Sakranti and Madras Cafe. It's also a perfect spot for those that like golf, tennis, running, baseball, and soccer. Murphy Avenue in Sunnyvale is a trendy destination for an afternoon latte, a late night drink, and a myriad of possibilities in between. Its historic buildings and eclectic businesses from small specialty shops to international restaurants to cafes give this downtown destination a unique feeling. Downtown redevelopment is part of the Central Core Redevelopment Project, which will further bolster Murphy Avenue as a vibrant area to live, work, and enjoy. Boasting recent renovations that accommodate pedestrian traffic, this retail and dining district has been drawing in a steady stream of locals and Bay Area visitors who appreciate the way the on-again and off-again construction over the past few years is finally paving off. Sunnyvale is ranked one of the safest towns in the U.S. and this isn't something that you take for granted in a friendly and bustling downtown area. The area doesn't feel overly commercial, but more like a neighborhood with homes, condos, and apartment buildings all within walking distance. Whether you're a high-tech or aerospace company, employee taking a break from the office, a local parent getting some errands done in the middle of the week, or someone out for a night on the town with friends, you're gonna find lots of options for what you're looking for here on Murphy Street, along with a pleasant atmosphere. Here in downtown Sunnyvale, there's lots of options in restaurants all along the side. We're gonna be taking a look at Dish Das momentarily. It's one of my favorite spots in all the Bay Area. You're gonna absolutely love it. So here we are at Dish Das. This is some of my favorite food here. Chicken kebab, super tender, super juicy. All the flavoring of the vegetables, the rice, there's certainly nothing that goes to waste. And I love this extra sauce that they have here. So if you don't like kebabs, the other options that are really good is mansa. That's like a yogurt base with rice and lamb pieces. Super, super tasty. But let's dig in. Mmm, mmm. Can't even talk, it's too good. All right, we're very fortunate. We have a special guest joining us for dessert, Anita Chu. Welcome to our vlog. And we actually have something very delicious. I think something that you wanted to order, a baklava crumble here at Dish Das. So why don't you explain a little bit of yourself, like what got you into sure. doing what you got to do? Yeah, so um, I am a pastry blogger, writer, um, do a lot of freelance recipe development and photography. Uh, baking was always my hobby growing up and I ended up going to pastry school and kind of worked in a bakery for a year and then now I do uh, some other things related to food. Anything related to food, mostly desserts. Very nice. Well, let's dig in. Let's get your okay. thoughts of this. Okay, yeah. This is a really classic um, Middle Eastern dessert, just baklava, which as you can see, it's a lot of uh, phyllo pastry and nuts and honey. Um, and they kind of turned into a whole dessert by putting some ice cream with it. Now, is it common that they have ice cream or is that their own spin to it from what you've seen in the past? Kind of their own spin, because a lot of times it just comes on its own, like cut into little yeah. triangles and you get it from the bakery. So they've kind of turned it into a dessert. That's why I was kind of excited to, to have them. I'm more of a fan of the ice cream. Than oh, the <laughs> it, you know, it's a hot day. Ice cream <laughs> yeah. makes everything better. So yeah. I think they got the right idea here. No, it's really nice. It's super flaky. Yeah, um, Yeah, it, you can see all the little layers and with the ice cream, it goes really well with, with all the sweetness of the baklava. Man, that was super good. Well, how can people get a hold of you? Thanks for asking. I have a website called Dessert First. Uh, I've been blogging for over 10 years and it has a lot of recipes, um, reviews of places I've been to in the Bay Area. You can find it at dessertfirstgirl.com. Um, and I'm also on social media. I'm super active on Instagram. And again, I'm sharing like things I've made, places I've gone and, and things I've eaten um, under Anita Chu. A-N-I-T-A-C-H-U. Love to see you visit and uh, drop me a comment.
One of the best things about Southern Sunnyvale is the school districts. Cherry Chase Elementary School has some of the top ratings all across the Bay Area, which makes it a highly desirable school district, which also makes the area of Southern Sunnyvale one of the most expensive here. Stay up to date on the latest market updates, homes, and new developments by smashing that like button, hitting subscribe, and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you never miss another video. If you want me to help you along with your real estate journey, I'm always available to help every step of the way. You can find my contact details below. I'll see you at the next video.